Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my past videos I have shown how I integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus with HomeKit uh, plus tutorials uh, in installing Hoops and HomeBridge. Frankly speaking the Synology NAS uh, is an integral device in my home network as well as my workflow. So do take a look and uh, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to follow along. So for those consumers like me who do have a Synology NAS, uh, there are other ways to take advantage of Docker. And so for the next couple of videos, a little bit of deviation for my regular routine, I will show a couple of simple uh, installations uh, to install five containers uh, in Docker in a more simplified manner. I use Docker because all of the applications run within one environment and they're all lightweight. So for those who want to take their Docker skills all onto the next level, today we will install and configure the Portainer container using Docker. For all of these videos, I will be using Docker installed in my Synology NAS 218 Plus. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this tutorial. Let's log into our Synology NAS. And uh, let's open up Docker. So from our previous videos, we've installed these uh, containers. They're up and running with no issues. Let's go to registry and let's look for Portainer. And uh, double click. and uh, always choose the latest tag so like i said if you want to take your docker skills and the way you want to deploy your uh, containers in a more advanced level portainer has a fantastic user interface and also show some of the uh, um, reasons that i really use uh, portainer uh, together with the watchtower that we installed and all the other containers uh, as well and uh, if you hop over to the uh, web page, uh, there's a lot more information, detailed information on uh, getting it uh, installed and uh, uh, have it up and running for you. So what we're going to do is uh, while this is being uh, uh, downloaded or it has been uh, completed, let's hop, hop over to the file station and within the Docker folder, we are going to create a folder called Portainer. And within Portainer, we're going to create another folder called uh, data. That's about it. And again, uh, for uh, this service to have it uh, installed, we're going to use the command line interface. I have the uh, configuration pasted in the description. Just copy it, paste it uh, from this point onwards, and you should have it up and running without any um, uh, issues. Let's SSH into our server. And uh, let's uh, paste the configuration that I have uh, in the description. So sudo docker run, the name of the container, uh, asking to restart as always, the port to be used, and uh, use the volumes that we created, the data, and also to download the certificates, uh, plus the latest tag. That's about it. And uh, just going to hit enter. And uh, let's go back into docker. container and we see the service uh, up and running so let's go to the let's open up a new tab and uh, that's the IP address hit enter so that's the username password that's the uh, welcome page in my case I'm just not going to use a strong password or I'll use a strong password so uh, let's create user update password and uh, what you want to do first is local, okay, connect. And let's hit on the local. We see over here uh, six containers that we have running over here. We go to the images that we have all downloaded, which is the mirror of all the images from here. And uh, let's go all the way down to endpoints if we're going to click on this endpoint 
and we're going to name it as if you want to i'm just going to name it as home and the public ip is the ip address of your nas server okay if you want you can also add in a tag and you say update endpoint to update tags you can go over here you can create a new tag and you can also create a new group so in this case like this so you can update it if you want to uh, users home users update this group and you go to your dashboard and this is how you have uh, everything up and running so one of the first things is if uh, and when your watchtower updates any uh, container you will see uh, the images over here classified as not used so you can select them and remove them so uh, if you don't have this service and you have the watchtower running all of the images will uh, ultimately consume space on your hard drive so this is a good way of seeing it. this is one of the first reasons i use portainer and also uh, the second reason is also uh, again just looking at it at a different uh, aspect and also understand what are the images which i just said and the volumes so you see over here is unused you can select it and remove it out so you kind of remove all of the unwanted uh, files that are there so we here we have the uh, portainer service up and running and also up and running which is the mirror of your docker service of your nas finally there we are collaboratively we have installed the portainer container in docker now to keep all of this going don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button that's the real driver that's the real uh, motivator the more the merrier to bring all of this content to you and if there's any doubt and if there's anything i can help with you can also put down your comments uh, down below. So until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and ciao.